In protest, a Facebook group called Unmask Our Kids El Dorado County marched into its Health and Human Services office earlier this week, about 100 strong. With homemade posters in hand, the group, mostly children, demanded they be allowed back to school without a mandate to wear masks, as seen in this Facebook Live video published by El Dorado County Freedom Fighters. The next day, an adult organizer, Lindsay Moffitt, addressed the Board of Supervisors. Our kids are suffering from anxiety, from mental health. Moffitt said the group's complaints fell on deaf ears. The police were called instead. In a statement, the El Dorado County Board Chair said frustrations among residents has led to misdirected criticism at best and verbal and physical hostility at worst towards county employees who are simply acting at the direction of the state to help ensure the health and safety of our residents. Tensions over confusing mask guidelines playing out across the country. In Utah, a ban on mask rules in schools. It's really about the mental health of our students. In Texas, the governor is threatening to fine schools and local governments up to $1,000 if they impose mask mandates. And in Florida, families demanding schools drop masks in classrooms. California state officials say it won't match CDC guidelines for fully vaccinated people to forgo masks in most settings until June 15th, when they will drop the tier system. It's unclear if masks will be mandated in schools. But the American Academy of Pediatrics encouraging students to continue wearing masks, saying in a statement, masks are still an important way to protect children from COVID-19, especially those under age 12 who are not yet eligible for the vaccine.